everyone welcome back to our channel magnix software so in this video i would like to discuss about looping concepts in java how we can perform looping and how many types of loopings are there we will see the syntaxes with examples okay so in condition in control structures we are having three types conditional statements looping statements and jumping statements so in this video i would like to discuss about looping statements looping statements so how many types of loops we are having three loops okay so in that i would like to discuss about first one while loop what i would like to discuss here while loop so what is the syntax to represent a while loop what is the syntax to represent while loop first of all you need to write down while is a keyword okay whatever the condition you want to write write down the condition okay then whatever the statements you are having you need to write down the statements okay within the loop so this is the syntax to represent your while loop but if you want to perform while loop we need to follow some steps what are the steps we need first one initialize initialize the value to the variable value to the variable so you need to declare one variable in that variable you need to store some value second point is nothing but check the condition so whatever the value you are taking you need to pass that value into the condition so if condition is satisfied if condition is satisfied if the condition is satisfied then it will print value then it will print value so then fourth step increment the value increment the value and the fifth point repeat one to four steps repeat one to four steps until the condition is satisfied until the condition is satisfied condition is satisfied so if you want to implement okay by loop these are the steps we require so first one initialize the value to the variable second one check the condition third one if condition is satisfied then it will print the value fourth one increment the value and repeat one to four steps until the condition is satisfied these are the steps to implement your while loop so let us see one example how we are going to write down while loop okay so we can see one example so write a java program to print 1 to 10 numbers okay i want to print 1 to 10 numbers for that i am writing the logic so let us see here class i was giving some example so w example while loop example so you need to write down the main method so public static void main of string args what you are going to take here string args so this is the main method i am taking so next here i want to initialize some value int i is equal to 1 so what is the first step i have discussed it initialize the value to the variable so that is the reason i have initialized one value to the i variable now what is the second point check the condition if you want to check the condition first of all we have to write down while loop so while of i less than or equal to 10 what i said the question to print 1 to 10 numbers so that is the reason i am writing here i less than 10 okay less than or equal to 10 if you want to print below 10 then you have to write on i less than 10 if you want to print 10 value then you need to give less than or equal to 10 now if this condition is satisfied you need to print system dot out dot print ln of you need to print system dot out dot print ln of 
whatever the i value you are having it will be printed onto the screen now increment the value if the i value is be printed after that it will go to next number so that is the reason increment operator i plus plus or plus plus i anything you can write on here okay so this is the program to represent while loop now we can see here how this logic is executing how this logic is executing so let us see the explanation how we can implement explanation okay so now see here guys i was taking here first of all initially i is equal to 1 so 1 less than or equal to 10 you need to check 1 less than or equal to 10 if this condition is satisfied it has to print the value so it was printing one value next you need to increment i plus plus every for every iteration you need to increment plus one value so now i is equal to 1 plus 1 so 2 2 less than or equal to 10 condition satisfied so it was printing two value again i is equal to every iteration you need to do plus 1 i plus plus is nothing but i is equal to i plus 1 i is equal to i plus 1 so you need to increment every time with plus 1 value so i is equal to 2 plus 1 so 3 so 3 less than or equal to 10 condition satisfied so it was printing 3 value i is equal to 3 plus 1 so 4 4 less than or equal to 10 condition satisfied so it was printing 4 value okay like that up to how many times the iteration will be taken plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 so 10 less than or equal to 10 the condition is satisfied so it was printing 10 value so like that by using while loop you can print 1 to 10 values okay this is all about your while loop now we can see how we can work with do while loop so what is the syntax to represent with do while loop so let us see the second one do while loop okay so coming to the do while loop so here first of all you need to write down do whatever the statements you are having write down the statements okay now you will write the while condition so while of uh, whatever the condition you want to write down write down the condition here okay so same program but i am doing little bit changes see here instead of a while loop i am writing here do and here here i am writing while of i less than or equal to 10 so same program but you are doing a simple changes okay so now you are going to see here what is the how the output you are getting in do while loop there is a small change when we are using while loop you are checking the condition then it was printing the value but coming to the do while loop first it can print the value then it will check the condition for suppose if i am taking i is equal to 1 okay first it will print one value then 1 less than or equal to 10 condition satisfied again i is equal to 1 plus 1 so 2 it can print the two value 2 less than or equal to 10 condition satisfied again i is equal to 2 plus 1 so 3 so three value you are printing 3 less than or equal to 10 condition satisfied in the same way i is equal to 3 plus 1 4 so it can print a four value four less than or equal to 10 condition satisfied until how many times it will be repeated i is equal to 9 plus 1 10 so it will print a 10 value so 10 less than or equal to 10 condition satisfied in this way you are going to print the do while loop in the same way uh, i want to show you how we can uh, perform decrementation see when you are going to perform decrementation the i value will be changed to 10 uh, now i want to print 10 to 1 values okay now here you need to write down the condition and here you need to perform decrement operation what we are going to perform decrement operation i minus minus for every iteration it will decrement with one value okay now i was taking here i greater than or equal to what so this is the condition to print the numbers from 10 to 1 okay i want to print the values from write a java program to print values from 10 to 1 then you have to initialize i value with 
you need to write down the condition i greater than or equal to 1 and you are writing here i minus minus i minus minus means i is equal to i minus 1 every time you are decrementing with one value now i is equal to 1 initially one value will be print 1 greater than or sorry 10 okay here what is the i value now 10 so i is equal to 10 10 will be printed so 10 greater than or equal to 1 condition satisfied next what is the operator we are using decrement operator so 10 minus 1 okay uh, 9 it is going to print 9 value but 9 greater than or equal to 1 condition satisfied i is equal to 9 minus 1 8 so it is going to print 8 value 8 greater than or equal to 1 condition satisfied in the same way i is equal to 8 minus 1 7 so it is going to print 7 value 7 is greater than or equal to 1 so it, the condition is satisfied until i is equal to 2 minus 1 so 1 ok so it is printing 1 value and 1 greater than or equal to 1 condition satisfied so this is nothing but decrement operation so like that we can perform while loop and do while loop okay in coming videos we will discuss about a for loop okay thank you for watching please like share and subscribe magnic software